Hello again. Today I would like to talk to you about the synthesis engine of the Cosmos F synthesizer. If you go to our website soniclab.com and see the philosophy page, at the bottom, particularly, this figure shows here the Cosmos F event generation system. It explains how the events are distributed on multiple time scales. So at first it decides to construct a macro event with a certain duration. Then inside this macro event, certain amount of meso events are distributed. And each meso event opens a micro event space, as you see here, and certain density of micro events are again distributed with stochastic methods. So this is a top-down distribution, and the first gesture of Cosmos F for constructing its audio data. Then this figure here shows you how the audio content is being calculated. So this is a bottom-up construction. So therefore it starts on the micro event level. First, each micro event will be calculated and each micro event has its own individual sound synthesis setup. So once Cosmos F finishes the audio calculation of the micro event space, then it assigns it as a meso event. Again, each meso event has its own synthesis engine setup. The meso events construct the macro event here. The macro event is the main output of Cosmos F. Cosmos F is a recursive synthesizer. So the macro event as the Cosmos F output can be fed to the micro events directly with a feedback audio line here. So if you choose, the micro events will get their audio data directly from the macro event itself. So this constructs a complex loop of sonic emergence. On this figure, you can see some details about the stochastic uh, methods which decides for the event generation system here. For instance, the micro and meso event space density can be calculated with these statistical functions here, as they are called Poisson, Gaussian and uniform distributions. Then each event can have its onset and onset time and duration parameters again calculated with statistical functions. And these functions are here, uniform, Gaussian, Cauchy, triangular, exponential, arcsine and Weibull. And some of them have also their own parameters affecting the statistical function. So this is the Cosmos F interface again. And I have a very simple preset with three micro events and three meso events distributed inside a macro event of 2000 milliseconds. Let's start this. You hear a symbol sample playing for each micro event. I would like to change this to additive synthesis here. The additive synthesis has 12 partials and each partial has an amplitude and frequency setting. So you can have a sine waveform and also a sample waveform for these partials. This is the playback rate for the micro events. And in many cases, it corresponds to the pitch of the sample waveform, but we call it here the playback rate. The synthesis engine offers different input types for the micro events. So let's choose the salted and triangle waveform. We can choose also sample waveforms. As you hear, this is a symbol waveform but I can choose something else. And this is the pulse waveform input. And this is noise. So let's go back again to the synthesis, additive synthesis sound.
and I can change the frequency of each card shell. I can choose a sample for each part shield. As each part shield here has a different frequency, so their loop duration is different. That's why we hear these part shields sequentially. But we can force them to be synchronized at their starting point. For this, I press the T button on the keyboard to make the sync mode on. Since they are synchronized now, they sound like a chord. We go back to the sine waveform. We can apply different envelopes to the micro events. These are amplitude envelopes with different mathematical functions. This is a triangle, an ink. The rectangle means actually that there is no windowing function. This is an exponential attack and this is a decay. As you see, all the micro events were sounding this with the same uh, oscillator sound, but we can choose different ones for each micro event. To activate this, you have to click on this GUI sync button here to make it off, and you can choose each micro event numbered here. And let's choose different parameters for the first one. For example, make it a sorted waveform. For the second, uh, make it a pulse with different play with rate. And let's play. As you see, each of these three micro events have different waveforms with different playback speed settings. Here I select the preset number zero, where all the micro events play a different sample here. I cancelled the parallel universe. I'm changing the playback speed for all the micro events at once because the GUI sync mode is on. Now I switch all the micro events to the additive synthesis mode. As you see, all the events share the same partial info. Now all the events are updated with the sinus waveform. As you see, I change the playback speed for all of them. So let's set different settings for each micro event. So I am changing the playback speed for each micro event. I'm creating some overlapping by changing the meso duration scale. I'm changing now the partial parameters for each micro event. I'm cancelling the stochastic distribution. So we hear all the events sequentially. I 
I add some variation. Now I turn on the sample mode for the additive synthesis and load a bad sound. So each partial becomes a bad sound. I'm increasing the duration scales for adding some more overlapping. Now I'm turning the greasing mode to off and I want to apply filter for each micro event with some different settings. For example for the second one I choose a high pass filter. I improvise with the settings. Turning the greasing again on and changing the meso scale playback rate for all the meso events. This is how it sounds with sine waveforms. Here I use the series engine to define a pitch scale in chromatic mode but by division 6. Now I change the sample playback direction to forward before it was switching between forward and reverse. Now you hear the attacks of the bell sound. The last thing I want to show you is the buffer recording mode. I press the 1 on the keyboard so it's the Cosmos F output is being recorded to a buffer continuously. Now I freeze the buffer by pressing 2 on the keyboard. Now the micro events get the sound data from the buffer directly and I can continue editing the this texture like I did before. In very short time we have created a nice texture. On the menu you can find detailed information on specific parameters of the synthesis engine. The synthesis engine can apply the same processing tools independently on the micro and the meso events but only the micro events can have the granular delay processor let's meet again on another tutorial